Good evening and welcome to Arcane City. Today's episode is Season 2, Episode 10, I Have an Idea. I'm Tony Hansen, joined by the rest of the Audio Dungeon crew, and we are about to play this tabletop game. It's been going on for a very long time, and it's been heating up as we get close to the final episode of this season. And I told everybody, if you die at this point, you're out for the rest of the season. And also, the hammer, the, the plot hammer, has been removed. <laughs> if you guys don't <laughs> solve it, if you don't move the story forward in a way, and if you don't solve it by the end of the season, I'm going to move on without you. The story, the story is just going to continue. You have three episodes, which includes today, to solve this. Solve this dilemma. And if you've been following it, it's a doozy. <laughs> right. right now, when we last left off, we were having an uh, interesting battle. Or a battle uh, coming up on the horizon. You guys are in Iron City, in the Iron Kingdom. Uh, you're with Relic in the Iron Fortress on top of everything. And the Dragon Atlas is coming in apparently to attack. And apparently he's done it a few times before. You guys in party uh, who are there have never been there before. Do me a favor, everybody who's there, raise your hands just so the, the, the fans can see who it is. Dan's there, Good. too. Um, well, Dan's, yeah. Dan's there as Hogar. One of my characters. Not, not yeah. as vigorous, right. So yeah. we're, we're going to go back to um, now to our other companion for Gomstrong's character Maya Maya you are underground oh I thought it was home safely never mind no you wish <laughs> the opposite of that you had three weeks to be home safely. The total opposite. <laughs> yes, I'm underground, right? Yeah. You are underground. You are with Headley, and you guys have been waiting at the portal for Vigorish and Bardot to arrive. It's been many hours. It's been over a day. No one comes in. I'm sorry, it hasn't been that long. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the, how long you guys were doing. You didn't stay over. So it's been... It's, sorry, it's been... A, it's been a day. It's been one week. It, it's been a day. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, it, it it's been, uh, I think, a day from when you guys first arrived. That's what I meant to say. But um, you, at this point, after, um, you, you don't know personally. You, what, you, you're caught up? You're all mm -hmm. good? So Caddick's father was there, and now he's right. now a vampire. He went with him, took, took him up top, and you and Headley stayed behind. Right. You wait for, for um, another 10, 12 hours, 13 hours, and nothing's happening. No one arrives. And the theory that he would appear in, in like a day apparently is broken. Heli turns to you. You're just waiting. Well, um, I don't know what we're going to do here, but I, I feel that I'm, so one of us should go ch check and see what's going on. So there might be a thing with, the, I suppose, the time of things. Well, there might not. So I don't feel like we can leave him there. I'm going to go. I would suggest to not wait for me. And um, going to go where? I'm going to go through the portal. Okay. We have no way of knowing what's happening. If I, if I, whenever I come back, I'll meet up with you whenever I can. We know it's just a matter of time, at least, and that's all I can think about. I don't think it makes any sense for you to go through the portal. What if, what if he's dying on the other side? What if, what if he's under some sort of attack? What if we think we're waiting for something and we don't know? At least if you stay here and I go through, we'll have everything accounted for. I can't wait. I, we can't leave. What are we going to do? Wait, wait forever? Or leave him? If no. we do both options, we know that it's taken care of. It's the only thing I can, I can think of. Vigorish isn't alone. But you will be leaving me alone if you go through that portal. He's with someone that is looking out for him. In more ways than one. For more reasons than one. And I don't think that we should split up at this point. I just feel like we're, we're already split up. Just perhaps we should check on him. What if something happened? What if Bardo left him behind? <sighs> right now, out of game. What you do here could affect. I'm scared. What? Much. What, what do you want to do? What's your decision here? What do you mean out of game? I'm just telling you, as what I hear. As what do you mean what I hear out of just game? Just telling you, I tell you, DM. This, this ripples. Okay, so. He's going to leave me and go into the portal. That's what, that's, that's what he wants to do. So see, he's a slimy, slimy one. Okay. <laughs> or. Who's slimy? Headley? Oh. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Really? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. You know why? No, well, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad. Okay. 
Oh, um, wait. Whoa. What is this? Is this now? Yes, it is. 10,000 stars just came in from Lauren Hicks. Wow. Whoa. Random magic loot drop for Dan and <gasps> random magic loot drop for Brooke. Happy birthday and welcome back. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, oh my right. God. I see. Uh, guys, we appreciate so much. <gasps> Jacob Kipp Thank gave us 10,000 stars on Monday. That was awesome for those who are not here on the Monday. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you so much. And Lauren right now. And uh, we can't say thank you enough. That, that yes, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, so I will look to uh, put those into the request for you. Okay. Uh, go um, back. You were saying Headley is slimy. Go ahead. I wasn't saying it's a Headley. <laughs> I was saying it out of game. Sure, so. that matters. I mean, muttered under your breath, slimy mm. sob. I mean, <laughs> oh, Charles gives it. Also, Charles Morrison, our Patreon, <sighs> Patreon.com/slash Audio Dungeon for those on Patreon. If you want to get more involved, and Charles gave his weekly reroll to Rob. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> um, what, whatever you think we should we should do, but I but I do feel like that we don't know what's going on. So at least if we go through, two of us on both sides of the portal know what's happening. And how are we supposed to communicate with each other? We can't. You might know what's happening. How are you going to tell me? How am I going to go up there and tell them? That's what I'm saying. You, at, least, at least you know that you shouldn't wait around for me, but we know that we'll try to find each other. The other side, he, uh, Vigorous doesn't know what the plan is, but at least me and you know what the plan is. <sighs> you seem set on going into the portal. I feel like it's the most strategic thing to do. Cover our bases. Mm -hmm. You don't agree? I don't know where our bases are right now. How long shall we wait? Where is everyone else right now? That's what I'm worried about. I don't know what's going on with this place. We don't I'm just supposed to wait here and sit here. Am I going to eat my tail to survive waiting for you? When you come back, you can be... You might not come back. Perhaps. Do I go with you? You could go and I could stay. That's, all, that's <laughs> up to you. <sighs> Whichever side of the portal you wish to be on is fine as long as I believe one of us does each one. I don't trust what you're saying, Headley. But you are a strategic thinker. I don't know if the strategy is for my benefit or yours. Or ours. Why do you, why do you say for mine? It doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't. We shouldn't split up. And maybe I don't want to be by myself here on the other side of this portal. Fine, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll stay. If that's what you wish. I don't know if we should stay here exactly. All of a sudden, you hear the lift coming into earshot. <laughs> Audio dungeon. <laughs> you see, uh, walk out is uh, Kadok's father. I'm sorry, you hear him. You're at the portal. Um, makes his way over to you guys. Goes through the portal. You only hear the echoes of the noise through all that stuff I just described he to you. He goes through the portal. No. So you, okay. he comes down through the lift, okay. walks out into the cavern, and okay. walks through a portal. You hear the sounds of all this through the portal and, and things like that. You hear the, the presence of somebody coming. You hear the sound of the lift. And then you see that him finally walk into the portal, into the room where the blood rift is. As they come through. <laughs> he is not. Well, your. I suppose that makes sense. I have brought the rest of your party above, and it. it um, I told them what what is the state of Solst right now, and I feel like that I should inform the both of you that your friend Vigorish is actually the vampire lord of the arcane city. Bardo with him, of course. So I do not know if he will come through that portal or not. Okay. You see, Hadley kind of backs up. 
He's like, are, are you are you saying that you're saying that uh, Vigorish is a vampire? Yes, like many of the people here. He's not a bad person. Heli pulls you aside. He goes, if Vigorish is a vampire, that means that something was happening then, or it does happen to him. It's even more reason to go through the portal to stop this. What happened to Vigorish happened a long time ago. What are you going to do when you go through the portal? I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with, with time, or if it's not, or if it's the future, the past, or anything. But I do feel like that there's two things going on there, and some, something just seems arty, and I feel like that, what are we going to do, abandon it now? What if he comes through later, and then we don't do it, and then that is the reason why he becomes a vampire, because he gets bitten by one? It, it could, I understand that it also could be the fact that I go through, and that could be what causes it. But shouldn't... <sighs> I think for now, both of you should try to calm yourselves. You're not in the immediate danger, but we cannot have you around the vampires above. Your friends have escaped to the woods. I wish to make sure and get you there myself. Thank you. Can you take us? Yes, I will take you immediately. Headley. Headley looks, looks, looks a little worried. I'm going to let you guys vote. Actually, I'll let the fans vote right now. Headley is, Headley is worried about the, the, the strategy or the idea of both sides of not doing one or the other. You guys at home can decide. Does Headley go through the portal because he feels like all base should be covered? Or Headley just relaxes and goes with, with Brooke, stays on the journey? You guys decide right now. Uh, give me, um, we'll say... Um, Blues for stay. So blues go. Blues well, actually red is for, for the red, the blood rift portal. So <laughs> yeah. So red for the blood rift por portal and blue for Brooke. Look at ah, that. There it is. So wait, can you clarify here? When you say he's going to go through the portal, he wants to go through the portal because he thinks that like he thinks that you might be dead on the other side. You need help, and someone can just walk back through and pull you through. And he's saying that he's saying we don't know. And then he then now his mind's going, and he says, well, maybe because I didn't do that, you're left. You're found with somebody else. So he says, at least if we both go, maybe I could solve the problem. The That's portal the into the blood rift, back into the blood back rift. Back into the blood rift. Yes. Does, okay. he, does he realize that there's stuff on the other side? That well, uh, I'm that Lord Eldrin is a vampire. Um, I guess I'm not going to answer that because it has to be asked of him in game. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wasn't that the first time I saw Lord Eldrin? No. So. You weren't. Your character saw him. Oh, that's right. And then I stayed down there. Right. You stayed. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. That's right. I remember. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Personal made a poll. Okay. So what was the poll? So 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 far, I know which way it's, it the, it leans in there. Let's do it really quick, guys. Do that poll. Should Headley go through the portal? Yes or no? You know what it was? I remember reacting at home to his dad, and I did. <laughs> Like in character, I didn't do it. I did it at home. I was like, what? That and the whole guard thing. So it's like, okay. Yeah. All right. It's okay. Um, okay, guys, vote right now. I'm not going to vote. I want to vote. <laughs> this is right there. I want to just put a vote in. Clicky. Exit out. Uh, per let me know, uh, Percival, Todd, whoever, let me know what, what the vote is. And uh, then we will go on from there. Guys, just so you know that in Audio Dungeon, we like to make you guys in control as much as possible. Whenever I find a way to make a decision that might be good to go either way, especially when I feel like the character could swing either way, those are perfect for fans to get involved and see what you want, what you, uh, want them to do, what you think. Heli looks at both of you and says, I'm sorry, I just, I just, I, I can't, I can't bear to the, the thought of leaving someone behind. I care for you, I will see you soon. Be safe, and hopefully I see you immediately. Be safe, Headley. You will take care of her, of course. Of course. I will see her out safely out, out of the woods to her friends. And how will we get in touch? I'm going to try to find you. Take this rope. Take the <laughs> other end of this rope. Is it magical rope? <laughs> no. What? I saw it in a movie once. What's a movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a poltergeist and they went through it all. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. No, I take the rope She's back. speaking in tongues. I take the rope back. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> so no rope for me, eh? <laughs> Would that work? I don't know. 
Good luck to you. Happy. <laughs> he runs to the portal. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> he just dives to the portal. <laughs> I need to get out of this situation. He's on the other side. Like, Forget vampires. <laughs> My is driving me crazy. <laughs> no, that's nonsense. <laughs> he goes through. Sorry. You okay. wait. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. You wait. And all of a sudden, nothing happens. <sighs> I thought it was eight Mississippi. I was waiting for eight Mississippi. <laughs> Wait for I thought it was definitely. Eight. I thought it was definitely going <laughs> to happen on eight. eight Mississippi. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Dad's trolling me. <laughs> okay. So um, he goes through. You wait a little bit. You look back towards uh, Caddick's father, Eldrin, and uh, we should go. Okay. Is there something we can leave behind if someone does come through? Your, f- your friend has left a note already. It's on okay. the floor. Okay, that's right, yes. With all yeah, the out, out of game, none of us know what it says. <laughs> because right. Tom wrote it and didn't reveal it. <laughs> okay. Actually, he'd have to tell you. Oh, I like um, you go, okay. He goes to the lift. He goes up. I'm with him. No, you stay in the bottom. No. <laughs> You're going up the lift. I got, I got a question. Do you want to tell the people at the top of the lift that you know their plan? I time? know. I was just thinking that. <laughs> you beat me to it. Oh, that wasn't In a weird Maya. way, this is a reunion on the lift. Reunion yeah, on the lift. For the, if you know, you know. So uh, you're going up. He's like looking. In the... No, it wasn't. Oh I once stabbed a girl <laughs> on here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it was him. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> I'm feeling like, oh, this oh, one's got it. <laughs> yeah. But oh, I'll man. tell you. She deserved it. She had to. <laughs> she had lip, that one. You're not really saying that to no. me. No. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not a thing. That would be great if he was. Okay. Just rehashing he, all he, the stories so, to you. So you've watched the episodes. He fills you in now on all the stuff that is um, solst. If you want to ask a question right now of me, you can ask me. Out of the game. Just if you're on your own understanding. Um, I'm... Eldrin is taking me to meet up with everybody else, right? Or is he, he, sa- he says, me Big Rush? he says, he's going to take you out, out to the forest of safety, but you don't see any of your companions. Did Big Rush know that I was down there? <laughs> what? You, you said know. I can ask you anything. <laughs> yeah, he might not be able to answer that. You said I can ask you. As far as I know, Vigorous does not know that you are down there. Oh, you're. I'm, I'm asking Eldrin. I thought. Sorry. No, you're asking. I didn't know who. You're asking me a question that I, the DM, can't answer. You have to. Have, the character has to answer that. Oh. Skip the question because I'm just lost. You're, okay. you're, ask, you're asking me a question that I can't tell you because this, it has to be in game. That question, that answer. That question. That okay. question has to be. Okay. In-game. So then, I guess let's just go. We're already going. Stop doing it. you got to say, like, back in game or something. I'm getting <laughs> confused. This is not Look a game. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, it's the first time she's played. She's, she's new at this. <laughs> Welcome to a game of dice and dragons. Ice? Ice and dragons? Okay. Dice. Uh, <laughs> Human, humans and h- households. Humans and households. Yeah, that's <laughs> even scarier. Okay. Okay, you got eight Mississippi until you want to ask me a question. I can ask you to Or okay. me. Great. Okay. <laughs> I'm asking you, Lord Eldrin. <laughs> he looks around. He tells me. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Just ask him! <laughs> are you taking me to Vigorish? No, I am not. Where are you taking me? I'm taking you to the woods. Have you ever heard the story of Old Yeller? <laughs> oh, man. Yes, I cried my eyes out. I cannot watch it to this day. <laughs> He's taking um. you to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, I love that everyone knows. Andrew goes, Tony's just trolling her. <laughs> yeah. Forever. I am. Forever and ever. I am. Um. I know you're worried. You should be if you were here above. That's why I wouldn't get up up top. I'm going to move very, quif- move very quickly through it. Where is Vigorish? Vigorish is in the tower. As far as I know. What does he think about all of this? He's the one that procured your escapes. So I think that he's 
looking out for you. At the same time, he is the lord that runs this place, and it is because of him that it is here. So, it is up to you to decide your friend's alliances. My job, I will honor your, my son and his allies here, and I will make sure you get out here safely. You don't want, do not want to end up like me. Well, I'm hearing that there's worse things, so. I'm sure there are. I thank you. We finally get to the top. He takes you out. He brings you throughout uh, the arcane hall and into the streets. And while you're, while you're in those streets, you can hear people running from vampires. And uh, you become very aware that like how much of, of prey you are right now. Now I'm going to roll 1d20 for me. If you roll a 1... I have running, so... <laughs> okay. Good to know. Oh, but I have 1d20, okay. If you, if you roll a 1 through a 4 and a 1d20... Yeah. You're going to have an encounter with the vampire. Okay. That won't be pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to roll a 1d20 to see his level. <clears throat> the vampire won't be pretty? Or the encounter won't be pretty? Oh. I won't answer that. Well, oh. vampires can be pretty. Have you I, ever seen Twilight? I That's know. why he asked the question. <laughs> I swear yeah. I don't know. I've also okay. seen an interview with a vampire. They're very pretty vampires. Very beautiful. Listen. They are. Let's right. try to stay on track, guys. <laughs> We're talking about vampires. That's pretty this on track. This is audio dungeon. That's, what are you talking about? That's pretty about? on track for stay us. Stay on track. <laughs> I know. For once, we're kind of like... Okay, here we go. A 12. A 12. A 12. A 1 and a 2. Yes. <laughs> okay. You guys at states to the back alleys. Uh, he leads you through. You are wondering if he's going to lead you to death or something, but you also remember the man before and, you know... You think that probably, or I'm judging judging by how you're reading you, that you think that he's probably not going to do that. He's an honorable person. Uh, and he, he brings you, Kadic. yeah. He brings you to the edge of town, and then you get to a spot where you've been familiar with, where you used to sneak out to go past the shield, except the shield is not up. Um, in a distance, vampires are lurking everywhere. You you can you can, sometimes you see a flash of one. Sometimes you see a, a person running out and then get jumped and, and they uh, they eat them right there in the street. Okay. It's it's t okay. <laughs> Taking it stride. It's it's not me. Yeah. I'm okay with this. You um, <laughs> you, so you reach that point and he stops, kind of at the edge of the city. He goes, "You're on your own from here." They, for far as I know, they were going to head to the abandoned fortress, um, west of here. The what fortress? The abandoned fortress. It's a red knight fortress. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. Well, I advise him to go there because it's, it's the only place I know mortals have been gathering that is nearby. That's a safe haven for us. Yes, as safe as it could be. Okay, is there a, a, a certain route that you suggest? Besides just very quick... If you're here on this side of the water, keep the water to your right. Okay. Thank you, Lord Eldrin. Good luck to you. And you as well. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. I squeeze my finger a little bit. I'm like, here, thank you for your troubles. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm okay. not going to lie. I greatly desire this. <laughs> um... Okay, so he leaves. Uh huh. Okay. And you hear what you hear right now. The wind. Okay. So now I take out the stones from my bag when I met Essence. Take out the rock. Okay. And I like just meditate on the rock and. Remember, you're standing still in the edge of the city. Okay, I run into the woods. Okay, roll 1d20. Don't roll a 1, 2, 3, or 4. It's the same roll everyone had to make. Okay. 14. <sighs> You're not going to make the same joke again? I'm very <laughs> disappointed in you. Very disappointed in you. A 1 and a 4? Yeah, no. <laughs> that's my point. <laughs> you make your way in, into, into the forest, and then you pull out your rock. Yeah. So we'll say you start pulling it out, and then you realize where you are again. And then you, and you run into the woods, and right. now you, oh, you have the rock. What are you doing? Yeah. Role play. 
I'm, um, okay. So I take the rock in between my hands, and I'm meditating. I'm thinking about my encounter with Essence. I'm calling her. She can hear me. Essence, I beg of you, please come find me. I am in need of your guidance, of your help. I'm just like vectoring her in on the map of where I am. I'm like putting out there like where I am. You hear walking in the woods. Oh, God. You see a cloaked figure come up. You see its essence. It is good to see you again. Essence. <laughs> How are you? It is great to see you again. I am as well as can be expected. What has happened? Let us say the world has fallen in, into the shadow of Dragano. The sky is his, the planet is his, and Dari is no more. Where are my friends? I have taken him to a place far from here, the same place I will take you. Where is your friend Vigorish and I forget the other's name. Headley. Ah, Headley. Vigorish is now Lord of the Vampires and Vampire Town and Headley went back through the portal near the Blood Rift. So, so this, this is how it happens then. This is how what happens. It was always assumed that you all would return together. And, and it was assumed that maybe you would find a way to write things or, or I don't know, to help it. Figure she's not returning to the portal. So. I guess that's it. It's just you. You will come with me. I will. I will. Have you ever ridden in the air before? No. Hold on tight. <laughs> Everything goes white. She transforms into a dragon. You find yourself already on her back. You kind of get, get picked up. And <laughs> she flies at amazing speeds west. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so. I puke. I get sick. I puke off the side of her. Kid, the kids jump in the dumpster. Um so you you're flying through through the sky. She's like this beautiful um like purple colored dragon. She's not quite as big as the ancient ones you've heard about. Or as as it was told, but she's she's pretty big. Um Look down below. What do you see? You see the whole world is very different. You just, you imagine that, like you you know, in, in the the water, you would see ships traveling and things like that. Uh, you would see carts and things running between the cities. And though you've never been at this height before, you realize what she means. You immediately can, can notice that outside of these civilization pockets, even when you go very high, it's just civilization, almost nothing in between. If there's a traveler, it'd be hard to find. Desolation. It's a very different world. It was thought it was thought that you and, and your friends by Findelar would have found a way to stop this. Maybe you still will. We still can. I hope so. What of you and your your brethren and sisters? What What are you doing? I I am keeping my my vow to Findelar and helping you all these years. I've stayed around Solst, but there's nothing to protect. The vampires do as they wish. So you will be the last of my duty here to Solst. And then what do you do? I do not know. I suppose I will be free. So Dragano is paying no mind to you. You're kind. There was the madness when it first happened. When Dragano took over the world, he defeated Andaria. I don't know how much of her left, if there's any left at all, or if she is totally gone. 
but what was in Daria is now him. The ego world, the world of ego, the place where our souls go when we die. It's gone. It is now the same but of Dragano. And if you do not cooperate with him, then I do not know what will happen. So what will I do? Come with us. If you're free and you say that we we could have changed things, we still can. And you can help us. Perhaps. What have you had to lose? I will consider it. Thank you. She takes you uh, far over the water, over Hallenbrand, and you see her. You see her start swooping low towards the end end of the desert. She starts coming down. Um, as she does that, I start chewing gum. Oh, that's good. I understand. Yes, your ears are okay. <laughs> as you do it, she starts coming down. All of a sudden, she swoops back up very quickly. She says, "Oh my." And in the distance, you see a giant sandstorm like swirling around, and it's everywhere. What is she that? goes, it is Atlas. Who? Atlas, one of the largest ancient dragons. It looks like he's attacking the Iron Kingdom where I'm going to bring you. Uh, I guess I don't want to go there now, then. Your friends are there. I don't believe he will attack if I, if I go. Okay. Then I'm with you. Hold on tight. Girl adventure in the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so she swoops swoops around, and you see this giant sandstorm is moving towards uh, the city. Todd, can you bring up the city for me right now? You guys, we're gonna take a look at the first reveal of the Iron City, a part of the Iron Kingdom. This is it right now. This is Iron Ooh. City. Pretty. Few, few things that you can notice you can notice here is that the um, obviously the whole city is made of iron. This is up against the mountains that are, are on the other side is Sunken City. It's right up against it. Below, in the center of that huge tower, is a lift that brings you down to Anwar. And if you can find it, there's actually a rail a railway that's running from all the way from the dark and ironstone all the way up into the Iron City. The railway, for those who know, actually connects the spires to Iron City, to Anwar, to Sunken City, and then into the Iron City above, and then create, then completes that back in reverse. Um, are, are those fires, what look like fires? So those aren't, actually aren't fire. That's actually uh, amber crystal. Oh. That's crystal all in the top? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, not, it's not as much crystal as you think. It's kind of like out, outlying it. And it's the same color as the crystal, as people might remember, is from the... Rod. Yes. And also the Collector. You guys know enough to, to the first thought to be, this must, I wonder if this is the Collector's crystal that they're actually farming to use in the city. Um, so on the very top left, you see the Iron Fortress. Um, and on the right side of this screen, you would see this giant sandstorm that is is probably about four or five times the height of this of this uh, city, which is already tall. As you see, it's as tall as the mountains. Um, just come sweeping in. She flies you in the way, getting very close to the city here, and attempts to distract the dragon. And she seems to be trying to communicate with him, almost to say that I'm here, don't attack, or something. But now we're gonna leave this up to a roll. What's that? We're going to do D20s. And I will allow rerolls if we have, if we're up to the right number for it. Let's see what we got. Oh boy. We're two shares away from rerolls. Oh that's my all. God. Woo! Let's do this, people. Out, fans. If you give me four likes, that'd be great. That'd be bringing us to 40 and 30. So two shares away, two shares, guys. And I'll give rerolls. We're, we're going to do D20s, uh, majority rules. 11 or, or above, uh, Todd, you can bring us back to uh, the normal screen, please. Thank you. So um, 11 and, tw and 20, majority rules. If we get more high than lows, that will be the dragon, Atlas, kind of listens to her and, and leaves because 
He doesn't want to harm another dragon. Or he doesn't care. He's attacks either way. 11 then, through 20? 11 through 20 okay. is what you're looking for to stop the invasion that's about to happen from, from him. Okay. Let's begin with let's begin with Scrow over the side. All right. <laughs> do, do you like that? Because I, I feel like you're always first. It's fine by me. <laughs> and away we go. 18. 18. Good start. All right. Nice. Come on, Dan. 11. Oh. Right. That's two. Oh my God. Two I don't know ones. How, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't know if I want the attack or if I don't want the attack. Uh, 19. Doesn't matter what I want, the dice have spoken. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's it. We that's, that might, that's actually it, right? That's it, yeah. Yeah, I got to roll. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Two. Wow, good thing oh, you guys man. didn't didn't need to get factored in here. <laughs> so that is it. So you guys actually stop the dragon. You see, she gets it, swoops, it, swoops into the way. And for whatever it is, you don't know why, the dragon actually stops. And you see, like, it turns around. And you see the storm coming in, and you only see bits of the dragon within it, and just it turning around. You only see the whole body. And wherever she is, if she's like this, the other dragon is like this, much bigger than what she is. It turns around and goes back out in, into the desert. She flies down and flies down, uh, embraces to fly near the um, the Iron Fortress. You see a dragon coming in. You know essence. You know it's not danger. She you know essence. Um, she comes in. And then uh, as you land, you literally appear and you're just walking onto the ground okay. and she is next to you. In her form or she's back in She's back humanoid. to normal form. Okay. To, sorry, to her humanoid form, yes. That, that was crazy essence. You have arrived safely. Thank you. Iron King. Essence. 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 It is good to see you. It is good to see you. I hope you are all well. I am. You have survived. That is good news. Hi, Robert. I think I'm doubling. I just, just got you. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see you're okay. Times have changed. I am well. Where is everyone? Are they all together? We're yeah. All oh. yeah, you're all, you're all, you're all oh, there. You're all okay. Hey guys. Maya. Glad you have arrived safely. I, Essence took you here as well. Well, not the whole way, but we got here. <laughs> Riding on a dragon? <laughs> that was crazy. You're, and just, so cool. just to make you aware of as you're hearing all the sounds of the city right now, and you're actually hearing like saws, and which you don't really know much about. The but grinding, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like everybody doing work and different things, and um, so you're hearing vehicles, and you're actually seeing vehicles moving fast in the ground. You're very high up in that mountain that I showed you before, oh, yeah. and you're seeing like these these things that are, are equivalent to like a speeder, I'm like. <laughs> But flying, flying way faster than you ever see anything move before. Okay. Um, so it's just a very interesting place. On one side, you see the Iron City. When you turn around, you see the Sunken City on the other side. You're high up in the I'm mountain. I'm high up, in like, the middle. on the... Okay. Yeah. Tony, what's the... What's the, um... The other Crystalborn's name? The one that's my... Right Rono. Here? Rono. I was going to say something completely different. Rono. Rono, okay. Um. You're going to say no, bro? I was going to say, like, Ronin. <laughs> Ronin, yeah. <laughs> Short. Ronan, As you're standing um, there, you see everyone come up. Every, everyone's there. Um, and you even see some members of the exchange that is still there. And Todd, if we have if, if we have anybody that wants to join right now, if we have, if we have Volt, if we have Liv Mora, uh, Mistar, or anyone that was there before, you can bring them on. Let me know. Is Essence still there? Essence okay. is staying there. She seems to be just kind of standing in the same spot. Oh, one other thing you see is a giant. You said there are still these crystal born, uh, quite a few of them here. And you see down below, this whole place is crystal born. Okay. Uh, you see this one giant one with red light coming out of his suit, and he's 12 feet tall. He's kind of just standing there nearby, too, just to make you aware of it. You can role play. Yes, Maya. What's with this guy? 
It's Holgar. The legendary Holgar. From the Celestial Wars. What? We hired him as a guide. Quite fortuitous indeed. He was for hire? Yes. Was it? It's a bit strange, but I don't think him and Relic necessarily get along. Perhaps there's some way we could exploit this division. I... okay. You do realize I'm standing right here. My Lord Relic. I don't, I don't think you would have heard. The, he's not going to whisper to you here. So. <laughs> We're going to get now. My Lord Relic. You must understand, this dragon may have stopped attacking this time. How many times do you think we'll get away with that? Your position here is too precarious. I think you cannot carry on this way. There are plans in place for protections against this dragon. This plans in place. Do you all hear him? This man will lead you to your destruction. The people that you are addressing are aware of my plans. Oh. So, if you would like to further make the discontent in my court. Ah, is that I who make the discontent? Relic. I could easily show you to prison. Relic. Pardon me. Your Majesty? That is unnecessary. Okay. What's... What is this? Are How you do not... you wish to continue, Kat? Are you not helping us? He does not wish to help us. Relic enjoys the way things are. I do not enjoy the way things are. Well then, help us. I'm sure he doesn't enjoy it. I will not help you, because by helping you, puts my people in danger. Puts the kingdoms in danger. I am here with my people, with the Exchange and the Sunken City, to create a kingdom to keep people safe. I understand that, Relic. Unlike other kingdoms who enslave people, that I do not do. Relic. We have nothing against that. That's not why we came here. We are... I understand why you came here. But I have told you before, I will not help you on this fool's errand. What has happened in the past has happened. It's only about what will happen in the future. What do you think that looks like? Your kingdom is in the belly of the beast. You're not separate from it, you're in it. We are safe. Why do you think that? Because he told you so? Who? The Dark Majesty? I do not trust the Dark Majesty. I never have. Safe. The roads are perilous. People flee to the north in terror. You can't tell me you support this. He has no... There's nothing in it for him if he Ask the sunken city what the Red Knight did for their people. Ask Anwar. Ask the sunken city what I did for them. What my people did for them. What we've done for each other. How we have strengthened ourselves. The Red Kingdom wanted nothing but to exploit the power of the sunken city. Use its resources. Use its people. I do not wish that. And you think that, I don't mean any disrespect, but you think that what you have here is defendable against all those forces outside, alone? We have survived the past 17 years, and there are plans in place for us to survive alone. Okay. There must be something else you could want, something some agreement we could come to. Something we can do for you. The only thing you could have done for me was help me those years ago. We can help you still. You cannot. Really? There's nothing you can offer me that would help me. We could... There must be something. Tell me, what is your plan? To go and help the Archmage? Perhaps the Archmage could help. The Archmage sees nothing of help but for himself. He's an ancient of great power. I think, I think you owe it. Hold you up. owe it to us. Tell me, do you trust the Archmage? I have a very long and complicated relationship with the Archmage. 
I have read much about your feelings and the feelings of the past with the Archmage. But I ask you honestly, do you trust him? <sighs> After everything he has done in the past, do you trust him now? It's a very tricky question, Your Majesty. It seems like we all know our history about the world of Andaria. Yes, I devoted myself to the Archmage, and it led to immediate catastrophic results for the world of Andaria. And I told you before, if I could go back in time and prevent all the bloodshed that I caused, I would. But the Archmage always told me that he did what he did because he knew that in the end, things would be right. He told me that what I caused had to happen for the world to be free from Trogano. I'm not happy with what he caused me to do, but when I look at it as a whole, I don't know if I could say I trust him, but I understand. So if you were to go back and change your dealings, you're saying that you would not do as he instructed you? I would do something different so that the Red City did not fall. And then I would find any way I could, any different way I could, to destroy Drogano. There it is, see? I see this much different than the way I presume you're seeing this. You have a chance, still. The, um... The, uh... Members of the Council of Anwar are still around. You see them walking back up. Uh, a lot of people were, were going to take battle positions when the dragon came, and people are now returning to the, the Iron Fortress that were here before. We're joined right now by uh, Mistar and Liv Mora. Which is Richard and Oni. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to the stream. What's up? What's up, guys? Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> hey, birthday, Dean. What's up? Thanks, Richard. Yeah. What up, guys? So uh, you guys um, start walking up. Uh, you see them walking back in. Um, you see that uh, again. That people are returning. Uh, just to describe the scene a little bit more. Um, like I mentioned before, this whole building, this whole fortress is made out of out of iron. Uh, and through the cracks on the floor, you actually can see some of the ember, some of the ember light, like glowing. Um, and you look out through the city, and you see a lot of the, a lot of the crystal borns are returning to what they were doing before. And it all looks like looks like they're building the city, they're fixing it up, they're trying to uh, bring the city back. Or you don't know if it's been destroyed before. You don't know the history of the city from your point of view. Um, it looks like they're trying to build walls and defenses and things like that. And in the far, far distance, you see that dragon. You see, you see, you see that you see the dragon um, doing his thing. Atlas. Yes. Right now, we're gonna take a second, guys. Right now, and we are going to sing Happy Birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy Birthday to you. He sings it as relic. Yeah. Happy <laughs> Birthday. Recently. Happy birthday to you. Aww. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Awesome. Nice. Put your candle yeah. in your pizza. <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> that is so cool. Pizza cake. Thank you, guys. Pizza, pizza cake. Pizza pie. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the pizza, Jacob. Aww. Yes, yeah, it's from Jacob Kip from uh, from Monday. We appreciate it. That is it so worked cool. out even better, Jacob, because now it's, it's, it's actually Dan's birthday. Yeah. It's right. Birthday pizza. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, wow. It's New York. In New York, we have birthday hey, pizza. Yo. Thank you, Christine. Oh, pizza. Richard and Oni, if you were here, would give you a piece. We'll mail you. We'll mail you some. <laughs> we'll yeah, we'll mail you one. <laughs> We go with Thank you, Christine. Guys, right, right, it's Christine. Yeah, Christine works here at Phoenix. She's Woo! awesome. She's helping us out today. Thanks, Christine. Yeah. Um, so while that happens, um, you guys walk in. You see uh, the, the council members of Anwar walk back up. You guys can actually take it and roleplay right now and uh, try to disregard all the pizza making and eating. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. He tossed it in the air. Well, that okay. was a close one. Yes, very much. I decided to send Gathard back down to Enwa because I don't think it's safe for uh, Atlas to see him here. He's still our representative in the Red City. We wouldn't want him to mess up his position. Definitely not. Ogar, a third time, a third different time frame. Nice to see you again. It's good to see you too. It's always good to see a familiar face. Well, different faces He's... now, though. We all appear to be war machines at this point. <laughs> a turn of phrase for a new body and a new face. A familiar a soul, should I say. Still trying to convince uh, Mistar here, but he doesn't seem too apt. No, I want to find another way to prolong my life. Crystal Born is really my last option it would limit me too much understood I didn't have the choice myself Miss Star so don't give your choice away very easily no I won't um, now do you know if any of, your, any of your other companions are still alive like did they come back as well like the stool or Abyssia did they come back do you have any idea you don't know the answer now. I don't, Miss Star. Hmm. That would be an interesting thing. We have to see if there's word of them returning as well. I haven't seen any of them. I've spent my time working as a guide, and I haven't come across any of them. Well, we'll have to get word to um, Aki and Boltorius and get them um, to do a reunion of sorts and see if we can finally track down where Findala has disappeared to. Does anybody know where Findalar is now? I last saw him years ago. His last words were me to put me onto the mission to protect you, to protect all of your friends. He was... I haven't heard from him. I do know he was saying something about there was, there was still a chance with Andaria and the crystals could play some sort of role in that. The suits, were, the, the suits of his allies were coming alive, but he didn't have enough time. And then he left. <laughs> this is Essence talking. Liv Mora, do you believe he might have gone to the Chronomancer's Tower? He's after more time. It's entirely possible. I mean, the Chronomancer's Tower does have a number of ancient and powerful relics within. But last I had heard, he, Harold had taken it under his wing and had protected it in some way. And we all know that he is aligned with the Keeper. So I imagine if he did, then he's gone on an epic journey. Sounds like some place we should go. Where is this tower you speak of? It is to the north, um, up there next to our light. I haven't been there in quite some time, so I have no idea how they are faring, but I've heard that they are doing slightly better than us down here. Essence? 
Yes. <laughs> what? I don't Such have, a lady. I, I don't have pizza in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried human pizza before. Only uh. dragon pizza. <laughs> Should... Should we decide to go to this chronomancer tower in our light that they're speaking of, would you be able to take us? Is that something you're willing to do? I would be willing to help, yes. If you wish to go there, I will bring you. I mean, but Mora, does your airship still fly? Because that might be a better option. It does not. Livmore, Livmore uh, put her ship into Anwar. It's built into uh, the city now. I thought of heading to the north, to the lands, following the Keeper. My people follow as well, but seems as though then we would be giving up on you, Relic, I suppose. I told you when you first came here, you can leave if you like. I have no reason to stop you from trying to do what you wish. You may have a reason to help. What about yourself, the Archmage? He may know your true identity. You can I, reunite with your family from your past life. I do not trust the Archmage. You may have to take that risk. I will not. Relic, I have a question for you. Yes. How did you free the, the Crystalborn from the Red Knight? I've always wondered this. You came and you just freed them. How did you manage it? When the converters of the ego world began, the crystal board began to become sentient creatures because of the crystals that were placed in them from Rhaegar. When I came across Rono and the first batch of crystal board, they were under attack from the Red Knight because the Red Knight no longer saw them as a tool that could be used and wielded to his will. So I helped them escape from his his tortures and whatnot to bring him bring him here to Anwar, where we met you and everybody else. Why did all the crystal born come to life? Because Trogano merged the ego world with the physical world. The souls I believe were the, the, the souls that were in the crystals weren't sentient, but when the convergence happened, it just brought the sentience back to the crystals. And this didn't happen to you? It happened to me when I traveled to the, the shield. The shield activated my crystal. But when you came through, you had your memories. That I've got their memories, but you do not. No crystal born. Or were they just awakened? No crystal born will have their memories when they first awaken. That is why we are doing what we do now to bring them gently into this world. For those that wish to return, none are forced to come back like we were. So if we went back in time and we were able to prevent if, if Caddick's idea and Robin's idea of going back and uh, stopping the fall of the tree and Dragano winning that would then prevent all these crystal born from being from surviving is that correct if you change the past and stop the crystal born from being created and Anwar and something city what will happen to them once the tree falls? There will that be nobody point. to protect them. So that is my point. Should we be not looking at going back and making the transition for when they awaken, we do it naturally, more calmly than what it is now. It's, it was pretty brutal back then. But do you if realize chance, that the reason that we were created were for tools of war? We were purchased from Rhaegar. Do you think Velamon has any intentions of allowing you to come in there and allow us to be created with souls? We were created to be profit for his pockets and, and tools of war for the Red City and Solst. What makes you think that anything will change? 
Well, that's something we need to discuss with Vault. He's the one who started all this. Maybe there's a way we can make the process so they come in with souls, with the all, with all the knowledge we've got here. Take that back with us. Know this. I will not be attempting any type of time travel. What has happened in the past has happened. I am not concerned about that. I am concerned about what is here and now. What if you go back and make things worse? I'm worried about fixing the future, not fixing the past. How can you fix the future? But if we change the past, then you wouldn't have to fix the future. We wouldn't be constantly under attack. Do you not have other options? That. Why am I forgetting his name? Oh my god, I completely blank. <laughs> Vigorous is funny. Um, Bordeaux. 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 Do you not remember that Bordeaux can also do chronomancy? What's to say that he won't go back and stop you from trying to stop him? He's worried about me because he knows if I die that the future is locked in the stasis that we're in. So he wants, so that's the reason why he's wanted to kill you then? Yes. Because if, if I die, he's he wins. To you, he wins. Exactly. So why would we not go back with the knowledge of this and take him out? Stop Trigano. Do you understand how powerful he is? When I was in the Dark Majesty, I saw what happened at the Convergence. I understand his power. You do not. I know what he is capable of, and I do not wish to try and tempt fate with him. You have a point. Like I said, I will not go back in time. I will not try and go to the Archmage's Tower. My concern is here and now, and the Iron Kingdom, and our people, and what will happen with their future. I've said my peace to you, your majesty. And I appreciate your honesty, Hova. Thank you. Rono walks up. City is back to normal and working again, Master. Keep everybody on high alert. Very I good. feel that once Essence leaves, he may return. He walks away. He walks away. So everyone working here, under you, is here of their own free will. Yes. And when they, should they want to leave, they can't. I do not hold anybody here against their own will. If they wish to leave, they may go. It's a very beautiful thing in a time like this. I admire your dedication to your people. Although, I'm wondering, any of the Crystalborn, me, you, any of your people did any of us have the choice to awaken in a metal body yes all the new crystal born that are created are only brought back if they wish to come back if they do not wish to enter the crystal they will stay in the ego uh, plane of existence that they are currently in. Did you wish to come back? I was forced back by accident, just like you. How many are like us? Thousands. Your... Anyone that was created prior to the awakening ceremony that we created you saw earlier today was forced back into their bodies or these bodies unwillingly what about correcting that wrong does that appeal to you at all once again if time has changed and the crystals are made 
Rhaegar will just force crystals into metal suits, and souls will be trapped within them. Those souls will never know that they're even inside the crystal. They will be trapped there as tools, as machines of war. Understood, Your Majesty. Relic. Heart. You still don't know who you were? I still do not know who I was. Do you wish to know? I do. How can you go about that? It is something that we are still looking into, finding out on how to get information out of the crystals that were created prior to our process. Some crystals eventually awaken to their full existences, some lie dormant. Some never awaken. I'm sorry to hear that. I feel that maybe if you knew who you were, you'd be more inclined to help save what would be left of Andaria, possibly. Or not, but... Relic, does anyone know who you were? Yes. yes. The Necromancers. Who did not tell us? Arkham, Anyone else? Who did not tell me. And maybe Findalar? But I don't know for sure. If you had the opportunity, and you could, without changing anything else, just find that piece of information out, would you? I would love to know who I was in my prior life. It is something that has bothered me since the first day of my existence. Because Robin mentioned to me that Arknum is still alive, as a vampire. Yes, and I do not trust Arknum. But, remember, we can troll through his mind. A few of us have interesting abilities that can do that. We can go, we could see if we could force out of his mind that information if you wish to risk your life doing so that is on you but i have no intentions of crossing this desert and going back to that that destroyed death trap of a city nor will i put any of my people in jeopardy in asking anyone to do such a task also you see a door open and you see jinzy walks up Hey everybody, what's what, what's what's going on? The, the dragon attack. Essence has arrived with my old friend of ours, and it seems that Atlas turned around. Oh, good, good. Uh, yeah, I was just with Arky. Um, he doesn't think that the, um, the furnace is ready to go anyway. The crystal furnace. So that was lucky. It's for the best that he retreated into the desert. Yeah. So, okay, I guess everything is, is uh, good. I'll head up. Furnace for the crystals. Thank you. And Arky is here. here. He stops. As I've said, the city has yeah. plans for defenses. Arky Finn, yeah. What type of crystals, Relic? He just looks at you like that. Jinty. Uh, no, he just, just starts walking away. That is for Jinty, can you send for Arky, please? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I think he's now working on the crystal. Might be better off to go see him and then rather than bring him up here. Hoka? Okay. Wanna come down? I would very much like to see Arky. Okay, can I... Any reason I can't, can't bring him down? Oh god, I go. The rest... Good night. Oh, okay. Okay, well, um... Yeah, what... what if you guys need somewhere to stay, obviously, I don't know where you're from. If you've never been here in a while, you can come to Sunken City. We'll hold you up. Stay the night. As well, long as no problems here, you know, let, you know. Thank you, Jinty. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah. Relic, one quick question. You say that there are, there are others here that do remember. 
who they were. Wait, I've quit. Did you say Hogar can go? Yes. Mm. Wait, where is Hogar? It's good to see you, Jinty. <laughs> what? It appears that Hogar has awakened in a suit. Oh, wow. Um. Okay, uh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's good to see you, Jinty. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, come. Yeah, come. I forgot Jinty. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. You go with him? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you go, you go with him and uh, you go down. It takes you down. Thank table. you, your majesty. I wish you luck on your quest. Thank you, Hogar. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to meet you. Okay. I bring Lucky with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys you guys go down. And uh, Rono finishes uh, what he was doing, comes back up. He walks up, see, looks at you guys still talking, and he sees a uh, whole guy leaving. He, goes, he walks up to you, like, close. Your Majesty, this conversation goes on forever in circles. What shall we do with them? Let's end this. I've told them if they wish to leave, they beg. But you are still talking with them. That is because they refuse to listen to anything I tell them. So shall I just bring them outside the Iron Fortress? They may spend the night if they wish. In here, the Iron Fortress, or within the city? Within the city. Will suffice. Shall I bring them there now? I, I turn to the group. If there is anything further you wish to know, now would be the time. The city is my priority. Not this fool's errand of a mission that you wish to go on. If you wish to remain here, you may. If you wish to leave, you may. Derek Luxton has something to say. He says, uh, is there a way for Relic to download or copy all his knowledge onto a crystal so that he can stay in the future, but when the team foes goes to the past, they can find the young Relic and give him that knowledge. He stays in the future while still possibly helping the past. That's it's interesting because it it just requires him to. Although it's it's still, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's the idea. So uh, any idea from any one of the fans watching, put out there. Is this something that Relic would consider? I absolutely have an idea, <laughs> but I can't reveal it. I have an idea. <laughs> well, you're there, luckily. No, no, I was just stating the, the name, the title of the episode. I don't, oh. I don't think that does matter. Yes! yes. I, don't <laughs> think, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I don't, I don't think Relic would be <laughs> too... I don't know. I don't think he would do it. Uh, no. I think you don't care. Yeah. He, right. He's more worried about the here and now. It was a good try, Derek. Um, it, it is a good idea. It might be something to explore later on, but not now. <laughs> okay, so... I just have one more, one thing. Okay, Hogar goes down, downstairs. All right, you guys are starting to get together to go, and on your way out, you ask a question. Relic, I, I was going to ask you that uh, if there were anyone amongst you and your people that did want to come with us, if that would be something that we could possibly ask. And I don't know, I guess I'm I'm young and, well, young and naive, some would say, but I often think about the day you came to life. And I often think about how early on everyone was so unsure of each other. And there you are, the most strange out of us all. And yet you found a way to relate. You made sure that you were able to relate. You stayed up reading, learning, about how to relate to us, to connect, maybe to remember. And I, <laughs> I thought, well, I am your friend and I know that we're your friend. And we've been through a lot of trials early on you and Dash had a little scuffle, but again, 
which you guys are just doing as you were told, if you remember. And I can't wrap my mind around this person, well, this being that I see before me now. I don't know what's happened to you, and I'm just very sorry that it did. And when you spoke of freedom and you spoke of us being free, I believed you and I wanted to follow you. And I still believe in you. I think it's really cool what you're doing here. But it's not cool. What's going on with us, I guess? I was sorry, Maya. But unfortunately, the kingdom, the kingdoms must survive. No, I, I understand. I do. And, um, in order for anything to survive here, I think it, like, the whole world's gonna have to survive. So, you really can't see past yourself, and I get it. I totally get it. I guess Dash and Caddick and I are gonna have to look out for your kingdom, too. Foolish as it may be. Good luck with your mission. Thanks, man. Very well, then. I suppose we shall take our leave. I go in a hug relic. <laughs> he accepts the hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys uh, leave. You're taken down into the to the Iron City. How's that plan going, Rob? <laughs> I already tried it. I know. How's it going? <laughs> not, not so good. I don't know, Vinny. How do you... I think it worked out well on my side. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> plan B. We'll have to go to that. You guys make your way down uh, the lift from the Iron City to the Iron Fortress. You go down into the Iron City, and you start walking amongst the streets, and you see Celestial Borns walking by. You see a couple sitting down, as I described last time. As you, you see, uh, there's a gnome like etching some kind of carvings on him. Uh, you see other ones are, are taking their hands off. They're getting it. They're trying to put other technology onto it. Uh, a couple are talking in the street. A speeder goes by. Goes by. And Simpy Trexton plays in the distance on his, on his bugle. Simpy! He's crystal born now, right? <gasps> what? Nobody cared to look. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> Is he? No, because he had the emerald in him. He's just like... Chilling, if, right? if, there's a lot of ways you could survive the madness that happened. So, green crystal born was a big procedure. Putting crystal in is much quicker. If you put the emerald in, you you give away all your magic because you can't use magic anymore. If you put the obsidian in, then you could. It's nothing would change for you except now you're tied to Dragano, which may have other effects. I'm sure not. <laughs> no. Uh, you guys are walking and you're being led by Rono. This big, uh, you know, like blue um, crystal born. And he's leading you to this big building in the middle. It looks like a building that you could tell is built for outsiders. In the middle of Sunken City? No, the, in the, the middle of Iron City. Oh, okay. Jinty offered you, but he brought you into the Iron City instead. Okay. Uh, so you guys are heading there. You can roleplay quickly as you're going. It is one, two, three, and I'm going to say what's the name is with you also, obviously. Um, Essence. Okay. So what's the next move? Uh, it's as much a waste of a time as I knew it would be. Essence kind of, that kind of observes everything you guys are doing, like very interested in the, the talking and the conversing. And she's just very like disinterested. And I mean, what are we really trying to do? We have to go back in time. That's might not be possible. Why not? And do we even know I, how, what to do exactly to make sure things turn out okay? How do we? I Relic said, and I must agree with him in that part, how do we know we won't make things worse if we go back? Do we really know what we're doing? What is worse than this? We, I just, is there some what way... What is worse than this? We, can we heal the tree somehow? I mean, is there some way we can heal the tree and eliminate Rogano? And Arya is supposedly dead and gone, and you don't know if there's so anything left our, of her. Well, what maybe, could be worse than that? Maybe there's some way we can fix that without... Okay having to go back in time. I mean, that's not something easily done. Who can do such things? Bardo, perhaps? 
The Mora spoke of the Chronomancer's Tower. Essence is willing to take us there. How do we know that if we get there, maybe there'll be people there to help us? Is the North as affected as it is down here? I don't know. It seems to be the place where people, normal, common folk have been fleeing, so okay. it seems to be a little better in the North. Maybe there's more help there, either way. If nothing else, I can go and see the King of Oakfrost. Okay. See if, what they're working on, if they have any hopes or plans. What can be done to restore the tree, perhaps? I don't know. Oakfrost is on the way, indeed. I can easily take you there and into the, to the tower. Um, there, is a, there is another dragon that is there... I could take you to White Harbor. Do you not get along with this other dragon? It is not... Within dragons, dragon kind, it is more of a fact that we do not impose upon each other's territory. Unless invited or something of direct personal nature to them. In that case, thank you for risking everything for us with Atlas. <sighs> of course. Is that our decision then? To White Harbor? I think so. Very well. Yes. Let's get some rest and then we'll leave in the morning. Okay. Okay. You guys you guys uh, go inside this building. You see there are other people there, just like normal people. Not like, uh, not crystal born. Uh, I see normal people meeting mortals. Um, so, uh, the mortals are just hanging out. It looks like a weird inn and tavern. Uh, people are just kind of chilling out. They, they seem to be like their merchants and their travelers and, you know, rangers and things like that. Um, you guys go in, you rest, you rest for the night. Um, we're going to go down to uh, Holgar. Oh boy. Oh boy. Holgar, you make your way um, down. And you go down... Um, in, into um, you go down the lift in the middle of, the, of Iron City and he goes <laughs> and Jinty's sitting there and Jinty's like rocking on his heels and his toes so how <laughs> is it being a crystal born it's different do you like it I don't get hungry anymore. That's... I guess that's good and bad. It's convenient. Hmm. Wow. So what are you gonna do now at your back? Are you gonna... Are you gonna stop Dragano? He's still here sipping. Uh-uh. I don't know, Jindy. I, I think those days are behind me now. They, they can't be behind you, because uh, maybe you're back because we need you. I think I was brought back. Because worlds collided. Some of us were torn from where we were. I don't believe that things just happened. I think they happened for a reason. I can tell right now that there's more than meets the eye what's going on with you. We don't build the suits with that color crystal. You got the red crystal. That's from the that's from the red knight's crystal. I don't want to say anything up top, but... I don't know whatever happened. You don't got to talk about it. But that means that you saw the Red Knight and something happened. You got to be back here for a reason. I wish I had your optimism, Jinty. How does Arky feel about the state of the world? He kind of just keeps his eyes on what he's doing. He's always slightly worried and... And, um... Uh, but kind of just go with the flow, you know? He's the same Arky he's always been, I think. Yeah. Although me, I feel like I'm getting a little old for this. But, I mean, we, we know, it's me, Arky, and Volt who not running everything, and at least we all have it between us. We have a lot of experience, so we keep this place going. Arky's going to be thrilled to see you, I imagine, yeah. <laughs> and who is, who is this guy? He's cute. Can I pet him? Oh, gonna, that's lucky. Is he gonna bite me? We spent some time in the sunken city. 
I think so. I remember there was a dog outside the shops. Oh, this was Lucky? That's him. Wait a second. How does that work out? How old is he? Oh, he's very old. Wow, you look like a pup. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Jinty, um... <clears throat> we reached the bottom. Have you ever completed a job that was so big that you could never imagine doing anything like it ever again? Um, yeah. Well, yes and no. I I was mayor of the city many times before. I thought that was done. But, uh, and after a while, I, I almost didn't come back. And then I, I realized that that's what I'm meant to do. If I don't come back, people are going to die. They're going to get hurt. I'm good at running this city. So I came back. Yeah. He walks, walks over. Come, this way. You see him walk over to um, these huge doors. You're, under, you're far underground. And it kind of looks half familiar to you. You're just kind of confused. You're seeing everything in a weird way. But you realize these are the caverns that are underneath that you've been in. And when they were underwater, just no more water. And you're bringing, bringing back all these memories for you. Um, so if they go to a door. He pulls a lever and you see these huge doors. And inside you see a couple of gnomes walking around. And you see Arky is in his suit. He's got this whole suit on. And there's, there's crystals embedded in the suit. It's like the, the coolest suit he's ever he's ever had, and he's, he's pointing at pointing at different things, and he's uh, saying what they want to do, you know, over here and, and over there. And you see this large machine around the crystal, and all these like turbines and um, sp it's like spinning loops around the machine. Um, some sort of dynamo? You don't know. You don't understand what it is. It just <laughs> looks like some kind of crazy contraption, and it just goes <laughs> up all the way through the 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 ceiling of this large cavern. And further you can go, and the closer you can get, kind of the higher you can see. Your first thought, like this goes into the mountain, or something. It must it must all connect, I guess. Um, all of a sudden, Arky, as you're working, you kind of look over and you see this giant uh, robot. No robot. I say that all the time. You see this giant celestial born come in, 12 feet tall, and you don't remember any of them being 12 feet tall, and you don't understand who would have built that. That those big. So it wasn't wasn't one of yours. So it's, it definitely strikes you as odd. And you see Jinty is walk, walking. Who Jinty's like this, and the other one, the other guy is like this. You know, so Jinty's what three feet at best. Yeah. <laughs> so he walks over and he he uh, walks up and stands on a rock and he goes, uh, <coughs> "Someone you're gonna wanna talk to." You see Lucky comes up. Hey, Lucky, boy. what's up, boy? Harky, that's Who is this big guy. That's quite a suit you have on there. How much time before you decide to blow it up? Um, Hogar? Is that? It's Hogar! It's good to see you again, my old friend. What? <laughs> Throw my arms around him. Arky. You're, you're back, Hogar! Wow. A lot of crazy things been happening. Oh, I guess this one is a a welcome surprise. Wow. I'm back in some form. I'm sure there's a big story behind that. I'm sure there's a big story behind everything you have here. You've it's been impressive, doing well. Right? Uh, Very impressive. We've come a long way. A long way from sort your of. tinkering shop. Yep. The technology's amazing. And some of the things we can do now... Stuff we wouldn't have imagined. What can you do now? Uh, we've got rails now that can transfer between cities. <laughs> that was you? In a matter of hours. You so built those story. rails? Wow. Livmora built that. Livmora was the key. Engineer in that. New suit design, so I can check this out. <laughs> this one, I think, cannot be destroyed. I would take it on any journey, knowing it would be perfectly safe. Brandon, he doesn't leave it in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-theft <laughs> devices added those as well. So a lot of, lot of upgrades. The club. The first thing he added is he doesn't leave it places. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This is... He points to Crystal Furnace, which is the same exact thing as under Solst. It makes a shield around... Um, the whole Iron Kingdom that encompasses 
um, the Iron City and Sunken City. But it's it's really hard to get it going, and it's working. It only works intermittently, and you've been working on it for a long time. Well, we're trying to set up a defensive shield. It's theoretically can work, but I don't know. It's hard to hard to run it. Takes a lot of power. It would cover all the Iron City and the Sunken City. You're building a shield on whose command? A relic. <laughs> Ironic, don't you think? But then he's in charge now? Well, that he's commanding you to build a shield when he's the one who lowered Solstice. Oh, I don't ask too much questions about what went on with all that. I, I need to ask you about what happened with all that, Arky. What happened to the world? Ah, uh, well... Relic, um... In his plan to, you know, free all the crystal born, kind of, uh... Kind of started a domino effect that just created chaos, and Dragano came back, the tree got damaged again. Basically, all the stuff we did kind of seemed like it didn't really matter in the end. And Relic was back. It was the new guy in charge. And, you know, just seen, we've been here a long time, man. The Sunken City, it was every few years, it was a problem. We had the Queen and the Rook, and, you know, Kanos. Yeah. And the Red Knight said he was in charge. Bellamon. I, you know, Relic, he's brought some order. Now we just sealed ourselves away or trying to and everybody's safe and living a somewhat comfortable life and I guess that's the best we can hope for anymore I understand and I know everything that happened to the world but I'm asking what's really happening where is Botorius where did Findalar disappear to Findalar I don't know Notorious is at Smithy's Tavern. Still at Smithy's? Yeah. <sighs> and you have no word from Findalar. I haven't heard anything, not since he disappeared from Solst. Nobody knows, at least not anyone I know knows. And I guess we haven't tried too hard to look. As I had to say, but. Jinty. Yeah? Have you had the same conversation with Arky that we had on the way down here? About what? About, uh, say, coming out of retirement. Uh, I don't know. We talk about the fact that we just keep seeing to have to run the city over and over, and, uh, but it's if we don't do it, who's gonna do it? it we know it the best, right? Ah, uh, what are we supposed to do? This isn't like the old days. No one patrol can't just march out there and save the world again. Unless that's what is that what people are saying? <laughs> <laughs> there it is! There it is! <laughs> I mean it's great because no patrol is a lot bigger now, but yeah, but you know. To do what? I don't know. We don't have a rod, we don't have a plan. I never really felt like I knew what was going on. Well, we never... in that last time. We never had a plan. We hardly ever had the rods. <laughs> <laughs> I... I feel what you said, though, Arky. Looking around at the sky, it seems like everything we did was in vain. And I told Jinty on the way down here... I'm in no rush to do the job again. But I just get the feeling that this needs to be fixed. It needs to be corrected. I, I just feel like I've been out of the loop and out of the game for so long that I wouldn't even know where to begin. Are you the only one who's back? 
What about this Orbisia? Have you seen that? I haven't. Uh, there is a group upstairs. In the Iron Kingdom. Who seems to be, uh... Pretty determined to make all this go away. Really? I see a lot of us in them. They spoke the relic about this? Yeah, but uh, to no avail. Try getting in touch with Findalor, maybe. He was always one who had good ideas. Let me ask you this. How well do you know King Relic? Relic? No. I don't know at all. Frankly, he's kind of strange. He's not very uh, friendly or, or personable. Mm -hmm. We've never really had like a chat. He just, you know says do this thing and uh, we you know he's a pretty smart guy and he's you know, we get along well but I don't know what his deal is to be honest he just says he wants the crystal one to be free and now everybody's safe and you know I can't argue with him there he seems very motivated to protect his people we've benefited sort of and they seem very well protected but my thought is there has to be something that he wants. Something he needs. He seems to be not even be like, I don't know, what does he want? He doesn't want anything. He's no personality, has no, he's not, like, I don't know. I don't know what he wants. We're Jin safe here. He seems to be concerned about keeping order, I guess. Jinty? Yeah? How well do you know King Relic? Um, well, I... I I work with him quite a bit. He, he definitely is focused on what he wants. Um, I mean, we helped a lot, all the design work and everything else, but like, you know, he wanted to to keep all the, the crystal born safe. So we did that, you know, and and I have to say that now that the crystal born are here, we don't feel like we're, we're going to get attacked by anyone because they're, you know, He's maybe like the second best overlord Sunken City's had since <laughs> Overlord uh, <laughs> since I've been around. I'll take that title, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Argon was a nicer guy. But those were crazier times. Oh Argon was nice. Argon was yeah. great. Ar I guess Argon, was, Argon. I, I can't Argon was one of the best people. So But he died. <laughs> poor Argon. Oh. Well, anyway. What I'm trying to say is it, it, it seems like you, so you don't like him. What, what, are you, what, are you, what are you thinking? Trying to... It doesn't feel right to bury my head in the sand when the sky is black. It's purple, actually. <laughs> it's dark enough. Oh, yeah, it's just purple. Like a, like a really <laughs> dark purple. It still gets black in night. Right, <laughs> it sometimes gets lighter. It's still purple. My point was, it doesn't feel right to do nothing to help. But I think this group who's come to this city today has good intentions, good abilities to fix what went wrong. And apparently from what I heard of their conversation with Relic, they need him to go with them. He flat out refused. If, if they're trying to f fix things, uh, I don't. I don't know if, from what I know of, of, of the of king, uh, the Iron King, I don't, I don't think that he would want to really change anything. He's he's happy. He's content. Everything is, is is as good as it possibly could be. You know, as long as the city is functioning. You know, especially here. Look, we have this new crystal furnace. This furnace is the key to us staying here and surviving forever. Yeah. With the fact that we have this, why would he ever want to leave? He was very clear about that. Yeah. This is it. This is the future, and this is the reason why you're never going to get him to want to back down. This is something that we, you know, that was built over, over almost two decades. That's why I'm asking if there's anything he needs. 
make that... If he could join them to give them what they need, then they could make it attractive to him. But if not, they don't stand a chance. And neither does Andaria. I'm pretty sure that there's nothing he needs. Just, just by knowing him all these years, it's like, what you see is what you get. His people are free. They're living under his rule. He protects them. The city and his people. That's it. Hmm. Then the best we could do is wish them luck. I've been living in the desert as a guide, Arky. Oh, the desert. The first job I ever had was Findalar's guide. Findalar's guide. You guys came to my shop. Pick the rod. That's right. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, I, was, I, I was there. I was there that day. Wow. I was working in the the vault that day. <clears throat> so what are you gonna do? Why don't you stay here? I'll stay here for a while. Yeah. Good. You should go see Pretorius too eventually. <laughs> I will. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back up. Uh, you want to catch a ride up, or you want to stay here for a while? I think I'll go back up with you, Chinti. Okay. So it's walking away. It's good to see you again, Arky. You too, Hogar. I hope things get better. Ah, I'm sure they will. These things go in cycles, you know. Sure, everybody will be fine in the end. Arky, just. Think about it. Look up at the sky. And if you get the itch again, I'm there with you. All right, well, if that day ever comes, I'll take you up on it. It's good to see you, old friend. You too. I head over to Jinty. Speaking of old friends, how old is Arky? He's going to be like... But like he's not too old. He's gotta be seventy or eighty, no? Yeah, I mean for a yeah, gnome, he's, he's, he's right. okay. middle aged kinda now. He just got his first Corvette. <laughs> Take it easy, guy who doesn't age. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> joking. Oh, yeah, how old are you? Oh my god, so old. I'm generally I'm only I'm like... only seventeen years old. <laughs> <laughs> Timeless. Fifteen. <sighs> yeah. You go back up in the uh Forever. <laughs> you, you <laughs> You go back up in the lift, where do you go? Up to the surface. You go back up to the surface, uh, you, you go up, and you see you're obviously still in Iron City. And there's some guards around. Chinti's like, um... Yeah, I don't know, if, if they didn't bring him to the, to the sunken city, which looks like they didn't because I would have brought them, they probably have him staying here. It's, uh, it's a tavern right in the middle of the whole uh, city if you're going to find those other people. Otherwise, uh... Whatever you need, just come to Sucker City if you want me, or want to hang out, or get a drink. Well, you don't drink. Can't. Right. Well, you could, but it'll just splash around on the inside, right? <laughs> 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 okay, well, good seeing you. Good to see you too, Jinty. Okay, I'll see you soon. You see him uh, making his way to the rail. Um, what do you do? Where do you end yourself for the night? I don't know. I think I just kind of wander around for a while, check out the uh, the Iron Kingdom. Okay. Uh, try to make small talk with some Crystalborn. You want you wander you <laughs> you wander your way around, uh, checking all different places, and just walking around, and you're seeing like society for Crystalborn, and like you're seeing a society built on, you know, no food, no no, no drink, and uh, just this different perspective that they have. Uh, you make your way down the street. And uh, you see a guy uh, walks up to you, and he's like, "Give me, give, give me the name of like, uh, give me the name of, of a cool venue, like a like a rock a rock club for the Iron City." Doing great, guys. The, the <laughs> Rip Room. The Rip Room. Okay. <laughs> hey, welcome down to Rip Room. I get you, I get you for free. What is the Rip Room? <laughs> Trust me, once you've been to the Rip Room, you're not going to want to go anywhere else. 
Come on, you'll fit. Just duck your head in. Okay. He pulls you in. He pulls you down. You walk down, and you see a. Um, you see, you see that he brings you into this underground area that's been carved, carved down. You walk in, and it's a uh, crystal born dance club. Oh. <laughs> It, it looks like the scene in The Matrix. <laughs> just it's got very strange. Suits of armor, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all suits of armor. They're all dancing. They're all doing the exact dance that Vinny did. And Relic because is a song. Yeah. An entire civilization has learned how to dance from their creator. Yes. From the number one guy. Yes. From, from who? Relic. From Relic. <laughs> Even everyone, better. Everyone dance like a crystal board. Go. Then you're not dancing. Okay, so that. <laughs> so <you win. laughs> did, did someone request that? <laughs> no. <laughs> just Tony. Nope, just me. <laughs> just oh, Tony. Wow. <laughs> once, again, once again, Tony just trolling us. <laughs> There's not even a bar in their place. It's just like. <laughs> It's just the guy uh, shining their armor in the a, corner. A girl, a girl Krista Born comes up to you. Hey. Hello. I haven't seen you around here before. Oh, I'm not from around here. Vinny just gave me to look like I you're really going to do this right now. <laughs> that red crystal, does that mean danger? Um, actually, uh, apparently what it does mean is that... <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> uh, so, I haven't why don't said we get out of here? Funny. Huh? I haven't said anything funny. <laughs> oh, there you go again. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. You're so crazy. <laughs> Really? It was very nice to have met you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Oh Why my god, I tell you, me? these people know how to freaking party <laughs> in here. Oh my god. <sighs> hey, oh, you? I gotta go, I gotta go. What what wait, whoa. I run after he, him. He runs out. I run after him. Roll, I roll a. Um, oh my god. Agility. What's my agility? Minus a million. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Plus a million. <laughs> Your dexterity was low, so it's still low now. I rolled a nine. I did a plus. He sends roll, lucky after Roll a ten or higher. I'll give you in the middle. Eleven! <laughs> okay, you, you catch it guy inside. You see <laughs> you see him. Uh, he looks like he's like sweating and everything. And he looks really old. He's like... This, this is another guy. It's got like a hundred. <laughs> he's, he's around like late 60s. He's actually, like 68 years old. What? I can't hear anything. Shock. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. If that is somebody who owes money or something. Shock. I don't know. I don't Shock. know. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> it's Shock. That's it's... not me. I am uh Fuck. I am Mr. Rip Room. Shock. I am Mr. I am I'm the owner here. <laughs> you better get out of here. Shock. Oh my god. It's I, no, I gotta go. <laughs> I, I, it's me. I gotta go. Sorry, he says leave. He says walk away from you. I pick him up by his collar. <laughs> Shock. What are you? It's... Leave me the car. I let. That's it. That's it. I bring, uh... I bring him eye level with me. It's me, Hogar. I put him down. I give him a big hug. <laughs> Whatever I tried before, I gotta get some more of it. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I lead him out of the club. He's obviously out of his mind right now, and he kind of follows you. That was a special scene you thought would never happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, I was wondering why the other day when me and you had a conversation, you were asking me if if the crystal born danced, and now yeah, it's, <laughs> I was like, it's like, he asked you that, he went out of his way to ask like, why is he asking me this random That's question? Great. Oh my god. Just ask him. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen in the celestial war. <laughs> Dance war. Dance war. Oh my god. Don't give me no ideas, please. Just, you know, I had, I had three versions of, of Jacques reappearing in the story. One, I'm not gonna tell you just yet. One, he was um, doing what he's doing now, 
in like but like a ranger like like living in in the desert, which is what he does, and then he comes in for supplies when he can. He has to go through Iron City first, and uh, or two, in a robot dance bar. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, when we have Audio Dungeon action figures, the Rip Room Jacques can be like a special edition figure. Limited edition, that's right. Yes. Rip Room Jacques. You can just like push a thing and it just goes like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes like that back and forth. What? I am not Jacques. I am not Jacques. I am not Jacques. Now comes an action cigarette. <laughs> yeah. It just takes a cigarette out of his pack. He yeah. can smoke. He's like... It's a cigarette in hand. That's it. It's like cigarettes are in hand. He's like, yeah. <laughs> That's his dance. Yes. <laughs> this is a guy in, in, in a just crystal board dance club with a magical pack of cigarettes. <laughs> anyway, I, th I thought that was the most fitting way to bring it back in. That was great. Um, that was great. We now go to sleep. We're going to leave you where you are. Wherever we that go to sleep. Wherever that happened. Um, the next day, you guys wake up. And... Um, <laughs> yeah, you wake up. <laughs> and um, Essence is there. You like you like kind of sit up, look over, and Essence is already looking at you. You feel good? Did you sleep well? I did, Essence. Thank you. How about yourself? I slept very well. Okay. How does the day look? The same as all the days, I suppose. Everyone ready to go? Yeah. Yes, I suppose we, we should be off. Is... I'm wondering, maybe we should take a piece of a crystal with us. What now? A piece of a crystal. Where are you going to get that? I don't know. Maybe it's laying around here somewhere. What crystal do you mean? The crystal that all throughout the city. As far as I know, it's the, it's the crystal from the Collector. Maybe that you, can help you, us. I can, you can buy it, I believe. I do not have currency and such. But it is not, hard, not too hard to find, although it has become finite in, in many years. Crystals do not last for an infinite amount of time. Maybe if we needed relic, maybe we needed the crystalline relic, or maybe huh. there's something else that we can bring with us in this place. Perhaps. Perhaps it's the crystal which is important, not relic himself. You were mistaken. Relic, relic is the crystal. The way that light works, and if it is, if it is indeed trapped in a crystal, it is a soul and a light in one. Relic, relic and the crystal are the same thing now. So would any crystal be the same? They are all different, as is light. Light is all different. All unique. <sighs> okay. Well, yes, I don't know if we should buy one or not. Um, if Holgar wants to be involved, You'll be here. If you don't want to be involved, you will not be here. Not. Okay, you guys, uh, <laughs> let us go. She walks. She walks out. Brings her out to the middle of the um, like a large clearing, and sh transforms. And you're once back back on her um, back. <laughs> we're just flying into this guy. Okay. Yeah, you're like, oh wait. Yeah, no, you we're going already. <laughs> you guys fly over the north. You fly over low hills. You fly over uh, Raven's Claw. Uh, you fly over Goblin Mountains, and you, she stays to the water, and then she flies over to White Harbor. You see there's a lot of commotion of her flying flying up top, and you can tell that they even know who she is. So they kind of, like, first see her get rattled, and they kind of calm down. Um, she brings you down to um, a clearing somewhere in the city. And again, it's the city of White Harbor, which is Oak Frost is in the middle. You have White Harbor right next to the water. And then if you cross the water, you would go to the island where Arlite is. Okay. So it's north. If you follow the coast, it's north of Ravenclaw. Right. Uh, she brings you down to a clearing. 
pe people are like watching. They they know they've seen dragons before. Uh, they know she's friendly, and um, she <sighs> turns to normal again and fix fix her robes. And you see, uh, like a little girl comes up to her and that starts talking to her. She bends down to talk to the girl. You can role play. Mm. <laughs> well, here we are. Yes. Where to from here, Cadet? Suggest we go first. Uh, Tony Kattic. is the Lord. Do I know if the Lord of White Harbor is loyal to King Oakfrost? It's part of that kingdom. White Harbor and Oakfrost are all a part of the kingdom. So is our light. They're all. And all right. They're all. Lord. They're okay. all. They're all part of the same kingdom. Um, well, they're all, they're all part of the Keeper's Realm, but it does look like that our light, which you would have found out from being a little bit, is that our light is kind of separated kingdom-wise. So it's like two kingdoms are part of the okay. underneath the, the realm. Uh, perhaps we should seek an audience with the Lord of White Harbor. Well, these are your lands. Yeah, lead the way. So that is what I want to do. Go to the central keep. Okay. The city. So it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful city, um, and you walk through the streets. Again, this is one of those cities like our light that has been kind of untouched by ancient wars and such. Um, our light has you know construction that they upkeep that is from the beginning of time it seems almost, uh, and just upgraded and upgraded. Um, your lands are from an frost are untouched completely, and, and it's um, you know within the forest and you know the kind of so much like a, like, like a Game of Thrones, um, Winterfell can kind of feel. Mm -hmm. um, White Harbor is kind of a more upstanding kind of place, a little bit more upscale, and it's it's it is fishing society, but like um, also like a richer, richer uh, city, part of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, you, you you talk to some of the guards in there. Um, you see some guards uh, near one of the main uh, doors to the keep. And you can we'll play from there. Greetings. My name is Sir Caddick Hartford, son of Lord Eldrin, brother of Edric. And I seek an audience with your lord. Who are you? Sir Caddick, son of Eldrin, brother of Edric, Lord of Hartford. Sir Caddick. What's the last name? Hartford. Hartford. Um... I have to put it up. You have to wait here for a second. Thank you. <clears throat> they put the. Um, he, he talks to one of the guards. One of the guards uh, walks into the city keep, and you see it. You know the message being passed on. And you guys are sitting outside. Thirty seconds role play. They will be accepting of us, right? Uh, they'll be at the very least polite, I believe. But we can't necessarily expect anything more than that. There's no reason it's that been they. Many many years in reality since. I've been back home. That yeah. may seem only a brief time for us. I do not know quite what the situation is. Well, that's what we're here to find out, right? Right. Exactly. And get some armor. We <laughs> can definitely procure <laughs> such things. Plus your war. The journey for, uh, for actual <laughs> items. <laughs> <laughs> do you okay. think any of your family is still, still in the city? I don't know. This would be the first thing I ask, though. You see, the someone comes back. He talks to talks to the guard. He comes over. He goes, "Well, it looks like your lucky day. It looks like you're actually accepted in without an appointment. I don't think I've ever seen that." Lucky day. Yes. Does a lord not accept a gentleman who has come a long way? Can not without an, not without an appointment, sir. Ah, well, very well. Thank you, sir. These are trying times. Look. Yes, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're grateful. They bring you in. Uh, they bring you up. The guy that went that went in, like, uh, like a younger, like a page, he kind of escorts you. He brings you up. And it's, <coughs> it's beautiful. You've been here before uh, as a kid. You've traveled here before. And there's tapestries on the walls. Tapestries <laughs> all, over, all over the walls. And uh, it's very beautiful, very uh, finely kept. There's sculptures, statues, all sorts of things like that. You make your way up up these winding stairs. Uh, they, you remember as a kid, seemingly went on forever, and you remember just like running your hand across the wall as a kid, and you were just kind of like scraping the stone, and your father's Marble. like, Caddick, stop that. <laughs> um, and you hear his voice, and you think about him. Um, you go up to the whole thing, and the thing winds around, 
it bring it brings you up into this uh, main part of the hall, leads you to these main double doors, and you kind of sit in there and you look at the guards, and the guards are wearing the exact same royal garb. They look forward, they don't look at you in the eyes. They kind of they kind of stand there, they're holding a um, a spear and like a long shield that's like touching the ground. They're kind of just waiting there, and the page says, uh, "Wait here momentarily, please." He opens the door just enough for him to get through and closes the door. Role play. Do, do they seem nervous? They do not seem as welcoming as they once were. How could they? Look at the state of the things. <sighs> That's true. The world is quite a state. I wonder if we could mention Headley. Yes. Well, he's up the north. And he's... We should let them know. Yes. Mm. Although I wouldn't be surprised if Headley's mm. the one that we see this evening. <laughs> You open the door, you walk inside, you see the page says, he will see you right now, the Lord. And uh, you walk in, and um, you see there's a, there's a man sitting behind uh, in a chair, kind of, kind of uh, just looking out the window. He turns around, and it's Headley. Do uh, it. Wow. 17 years older. Oh. <sighs> I've been waiting a long time for this, and we have much work to do. And that's where we stop today's episode. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 wow. 